It's the end of an era for Sobe's single-use plastic bags. The retailers have a secret they don't want you to know, but I'ma tell ya. Plus, we compare the merits between a plastic bag and the paper bag. Yay, are we all excited? Hey y'all, I'm Milesh P and this is Food Packaging TV. Is it not? It is. Sobeys is one of the first national grocer to eliminate plastic bags starting this February. The change will take 225 million bags out of their stores annually. And fun fact, that's actually enough bags to wrap around the entire earth twice. It's not an insignificant amount. And you know this, man! Customers are being encouraged to go for reusable bags that they already have or purchase a new one at Till for 99 cents. A smaller reusable bag is being introduced at 25 cents and there's also an option of buying a paper bag for 10 cents each. You know, when Colin Lucas sang Dollar Wine, he never thought we'd be using it in the context of shopping bags because the prices of these bags are. <laughs> Which leads us to our next interesting fun fact that retailers don't want you to know. Charging you five cents a bag is a huge profit center for them. I mean, at minimum, they make double the cost of the bag. Oh, yeah. And if you don't know, now you know. Which makes it hard for retailers to give up the plastic. But now that Sobe has that 99 cent bag, well, let's just say... <laughs> retailers are definitely whining to this song, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's get right down to it. Yes, there is an environmental concern, but what is the best option here? You know, when I was initially going to make this video, I wanted to tell you about, you know, the various materials that bags are made or produced from, uh, how the bags look, feel, and perform, and lastly, how to spot cheater bags in the marketplace because they exist. But we'll do that in another video. Yay! But for this video, we're gonna cover the difference between the plastic bag and the paper bag, which all funder, fall under the single-use disposable category. I'm gonna cover uh, three areas which are behind the scenes that have the largest impact on the environmental aspect of it all. Raw materials, the production, and transportation. So according to the data from the University of Texas at Austin, Michigan Technological University, and the US EPA, which is the Environmental Protection Agencies, here it is for all the three, well, the three categories going from raw materials. So plastic bags are made from petroleum products, which are uh, non-renewable resources, and our manufacturing actually helps drive up the price of gas. Whereas paper, in the U.S., they cut down 14 million trees a year to help supply the uh, paper shopping bag market. Cost of production, plastic takes on 12 million barrels a year to produce what the U.S. consumes, which is actually one billion, that's B for balamanium, a year, bags, billion. And for paper, it takes more than 13% more energy to create a single paper bag than to make two plastic bags. Now, uh, you know, the production of this guy requires high temperatures, fresh water, and releases a lot of toxins nearly the same rate as what it would take to make a plastic bag. But transportation, now here's where it gets interesting. To ship a million bags of plastic bags, one million, one trailer. One million of these, six trailers. Not to mention six times the storage cost, six times the transportation cost. So where does that leave us? Well, since we're in a free market system, you decide which is best for your needs. But if you ask me, I'd say neither. I'd personally opt for a 100% compostable bag made out of PLA, which is polylactic acid, derived from corn, which is a sustainable resource. Now, get this. A local health food market uh, store called Nature's Emporium have started implementing these, these bags across four locations in Ontario. Could help prevent as many as one million plastic bags from entering the landfills every year. And yes, it's 100% certified to be implemented with your green bin program. Huge win. I love this. It's awesome and it's a sustainable move. However, they are charging customers 20 cents per bag, which perhaps in one way is a deterrent for bringing your own bags. But on the flip side, it's also a minor profit center 
with portions of these proceeds benefiting local conservation uh, partners. But Loblaws and other retailers are also also donating their proceeds. But why don't the other major retailers kind of go on and roll out the compostable bags? They can't. Cities like Vancouver and provinces like Nova Scotia will not accept compostable bags because it is difficult to identify between compostable bags and plastic bags. I mean, if you ask me, the only way this would work is if we have an all-out ban on plastic bags and we move towards compostable bags. This would solve multiple problems such as sustainable and renewable resources, reduced transportation and storage costs, and of course, the best of all, it can be truly reused and composted at the end of its life cycle. You know, it's a mean to bring about true long-term change. That's it for Food Packaging TV. I'm Yulash P. Thanks for watching, everybody. Feel free to follow me on social media. See you next week. Thank you.